and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and this is The Budget Mum UK. I'm going to be showing you how to make um, some mini envelopes, this particular one, which I thought was really, really cute, really, really um, glitzy, sparkly, fun, um, and then we can do some other embellishments. So, we're like, so I'm going to mix it up with Disney as well, um, but this is going to be like sort of the, the main ones, if you like. So I just thought whilst I'm doing them, it'll be fun to film, show you how I make them. Um, so if you want to replicate it yourself at home, you can do. Uh, be warned, I have already started doing some of these, so if you do decide to make them at home, it does take a little bit of time. But basically the things that you are going to need if you want to make your own laminated uh, mini pockets, basically, mini envelopes, you'll need a laminator. Surprise! <laughs> um, you know, the laminator I'm going to use is actually retro, it's like older than old, it must be, I'm going to say 20 years old, so I've had this laminator. Uh, from when I owned a restaurant business many years ago So it still works. So you know why, why get anything new? But basically it's just a heads up when I do turn it on It's a little bit louder than some laminators that you might be used to if you've used one before um, It's not on yet, but it does warm up really quickly, so I'm not too worried The other thing that I would recommend you get is a slicer a paper trimmer basically um, I've just bought this one and um, I did have one um, which was okay for what I was doing initially with the paper and things, but because um, this is quite um, intense, it's using I'm using like a card effectively. Um, I chose to get a a better one for um, for my needs, as it were, uh, because it is it is get believe it or not, it's actually hard work on your hands because you're moving things so much and yeah, because there's so many of them as well. So I thought it's more of an investment than anything else. Um, yeah, so you're going to need your, your product, whatever it is you want to make your cards from. This particular one that I've got, I just purchased from the works. Um, it's actually white on the other side. Um, you could leave it white if you want to, but you will need something anyway to make the pocket to prevent it from sealing itself. It makes sense as I go, I'll just explain what I mean when I'm doing it. Um, so for my particular one that I'm making, I've used another this particular case is a pink card, which I'm going to use to make the pocket itself, which will sort of encase the money as you like. In there. Um, and then you don't have to do this, but um, I've just got some numbers which could go on the, uh, the sparkly side, but actually I think it'd look nicer on the, the plate, well, not plain as it's pink, on the um, less glam side, and then you can just enjoy the glitz as it is for this particular one. So, yeah, so I won't be doing all 100 on the screen because I know how long it's going to take me. I've already sort of done a couple and worked out if, you know, if I work at a certain reading speed, certain rate, it's going to take me a good few hours to do this. So, um, oh yeah, and of course, finally, the last thing you need are laminating pouches. Come in packs and um, normally have about 100, I think, um, look like this. And this is what go into your laminating machine. Now quite often when you buy laminating pouches, not all the time, so just be aware, they come with like um, a separate piece of card if you like. And when I first started buying laminating pouches, I was like, why have they put that in? That's a waste of time. And was throwing these away. If you do that, you will regret it. Because when these um, go through laminated uh, go through the laminating machine rather, um, they can, on occasion, uh, become screwed up inside the machine, it melts, things move. Basically those little sheets are there to protect your laminating pouch, basically sort of envelopes, so one's on that side, one up on that and it helps to guide your item through, because at the moment it's quite floppy, and as you can imagine once there's things inside, especially when you've got quite a lot of little ones, as I've done in the past, it's easy for them to slip out, things get laminated on top of other things, and as I said, it can get screwed up inside the machine. So uh, yeah, if you do buy laminated pouches and it's got the little thing in, 
then great, keep hold of it. If not, if there's lots of things that you can do for makeshift stuff, for example, then just when I showed you, you could just get a couple of pieces of card. In the past, when I've been in school, I've used sugar paper, just something that's a bit denser, just a little bit thicker, um, just to protect your, your work, basically. Okay, so let's just jump into how I'm going to be making that. Let's just take away. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how I make. I'm just going to use one as an example. Now, this one's going to give me um, six, six, can't go to six um, of these squares. Um, my particular envelopes for the mini size measure eight centimeters by eight centimeters. So I'm going to just push this up to the number eight making sure it's flush on both sides it's really easy to think it's lined up but actually it's on a tilt and if you do that you end up with, um, with a lot more waste than I'm already going to get anyway so I'm on eight which basically means from here up to where the slicer is it's going to cut at eight centimeters so there we go so all that piece is eight centimeters and I'm going to do it again These two are the same. These are what I'm going to use in, but already this is like my leftovers, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, so if you can think of something cool to do with these, let me know. And I'll make some sort of retro 80s wristband. Okay, <laughs> just make them. Alright. Now, I can put two in at once, but the other thing is um, just check with the slicer that you buy. Um, this one I got off Amazon, and I will list this below if you're interested in buying this. This one, I think, I have to can't remember how much it was now. It wasn't very much. There were different ones. You, could, you basically you pay your money, you get what you pay for, essentially. Now, obviously, having worked in schools for a long time, um, I've used a lot of slicers over the years. Um, and they're obviously built to last and uh, make, just make sure this is lined up. Um, yeah, they're built to last and you can put so many thicknesses of paper and things like that through. So, uh, you're quite comfortable. You do need to firm hand press down to make sure you get that. So, that's two there. Just looking, it's just bugging me that that's not perfectly lined up. I'm gonna do this um, separately. I just had to pause then because I left my phone on and somebody's just bought something off Etsy and it excites me every time you buy something I'm like not used to um, yeah I'm not used to having a little shop it's fun it's so helpful it's really exciting just even like for pennies and like just yeah <laughs> so makes me happy um, there we go, right, so I've got six of that, and again, more leftovers, so basically that, that's all I've got left over, which is, it's because it's so pretty, I don't want to do nothing with it. I don't know. Okay, so the laminator is on, that's what you can hear. Um, let's get to this down. So, as I mentioned, there's, um, I threw mine away. I've, I've got a pile in my office. I empty all the laminating pouches out of, I don't like packaging things, so you know when you're in a rush and you're trying to get things done, having to go through packages, so yeah, I threw it my way, um, I need to buy some more, so hopefully um, I'll actually get an official one, but this is literally just, you know, an exercise book from uh, one of the children that I tutor, um, she's finished with it, so I've just taken the outside off, it's just the cards thicken off, um, this will do the job for me, so it's great, we're going to use this as my, so essentially it's your laminating pouch guide, is what it is, so, especially when I've got so many that I'm leaving up here, and um, the potential for slippage is huge, now in theory, I could just glue that on, that might mean 
then it's less likely to slip. So I obviously can't glue the pink onto the uh, glittery card because that's what always going to go basically. So I don't need a lot of glue on here. I just need something to hold it in place. Um, Maybe if I thought ahead, I probably could have glued all these on already. Save time for you. Let's just fast forward this bit then. Well, you don't have to watch me uh, glue all these on. Okay, so it's gone through once with the cover over it. That looks fine. So even do you know what happened? <laughs> this is why. This is why you need a protection on. Um, I let go at the end because the camera cut off, <laughs> and because I let go, it slipped. This is why we need. It takes so much care and time. I can show you the others. It's not a problem. I've got loads of these. I can just redo some more. It is a bit frustrating when you've got to keep doing them all. I always um, mentally prepare myself for like maybe four or five extras. I'm just putting it through again because whilst the um, cover's really good to make sure things don't slip, usually I don't like go. <laughs> um, I don't need to hold it now because it is already sealed in. Um, just that extra, extra, extra uh, zip through is good. So I am going to finish it off. Um, if there's any I'm not happy with, if I'm doing number six again anyway, um, I can redo them can't I? That's the only other thing is because I've put numbers on. <laughs> it's not like I can get away with them. If you're cutting them yourself you will need um, a good border on the outside otherwise um, it can come unglued. I'm just going to try that. Um, yeah, you need, you can't cut it like right up to the card itself because it's sealed in. But basically, you can see I've sliced it in the middle. Um, and I'm just going to show you now how we create the actual um, envelope itself. We can go in the more. I lost one size for a second. So, um, yeah, in the minute it's sealed all the way around, you can put this back through the laminator again and again if you want to, if you're not happy. Sometimes we can leave like um, a clear edge. If you put it through the laminator, that can go. Um, the other thing is make sure you leave yourself enough of a margin on the outside for the glue. Because if you don't, it'll eventually it'll sort of come undone. I'm just going to slice off the top and essentially, Excuse my stomach, it is quite late and I'm hungry. Um, yeah, essentially, you've got your envelope, so we can. That's one I did here yeah, before the camera cut off. Um, yeah. You can just put your money in. So it's a really good size for this one because you, know, you can make it as big and as small as you want, but it just perfectly fits up 20. Um, yeah, so these are your. Uh, your cash envelopes and you're very welcome to have a go at making yourself if you think you don't want to make them yourself and you would like me to make them for you you can get these on my etsy store so um it will take you quite a long time to do um but you could if you've got time and you want to have a go um definitely make sure you invest in a good slicer um you don't want to get blisters and things on your fingers which i've had in the past but yeah so i guess now you want to know who has won the competition. Just for clarity's sake, I filmed the majority of the video you're about to watch about two days ago um, because otherwise with me doing the draw today, Sunday lunchtime, 
Um, I wouldn't have had time to edit it and this part of the video too and upload it. YouTube takes an age to upload. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I thought if I film that bit, then do the draw, time together, should save lots of time and I'll still get my video up in time for you. So, without further ado, um, as promised, I have now got all the names of everyone who's in the draw. Thank you to everyone who's commented. Thank you for your likes of my new Disney envelopes. I really genuinely wanted everyone to win one because everyone who's commented, it's all been so lovely and supportive and it's always so good. But the winner is... Oh. Irish Healthy Mom. You win. I don't know if you can see that, but that is on the Irish Healthy Mom. You are the winner. So, um, I will, do you know what? I don't even know how, I'm, <laughs> how YouTube works. How do I get in touch with you? I will send you a message, I think. I'm sure I can do that. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah, just drop me an email at thebudgetmomuk at hotmail.com or I'll contact you. We'll figure it out. All right, so I have now got 100 envelopes all ready, all finished, all laminated. All sorted for uh, my, my purchaser, my buyer. Um, it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. I genuinely did not think it would take so long to at least. But yeah, 